to all fans of ancient numismatics. This is episode 2 of the Legend Variant series, and today we'll look at what's unusual and unique about the legends on these three denarii. Those who missed episode 1 should check out the video link in the description below. Let's start with this tiny, small denarius. This is, as you can see, a very little and light coin. It hardly weighs 2.7 grams. This is a denarius from the final years of Commodus' reign when minting standards were at their lowest. Low weight, small flans, low silver content, and weakly minted coins become the new norm near the end of Commodus' reign. Nonetheless, this is an intriguing coin. Obverse legend reads Lucius Elius Aurelius Commodus Augustus Pius Felix. Commodus is sacrificing from Patera over altar on the reverse, the legend reads Vota Saluta Pro Salute Populi Romani, probably a thanksgiving for the abatement of plague that devastated the empire in 191 AD. When we look closely, we can see that the word Saluta is condensed to only three letters, reading only Sol. All reference books, however, indicate the inscription Solu, not Sol, as on this coin. So, what exactly is it? Is this a mistake that only concerns one die? That, in my opinion, is not the case. The most recent Lyria horde reported a significant amount of Commodus denarii, many many hundreds in fact. There were twelve Vota Soluta denarii among them, which are presently housed in the Valencia Museum. Three of the twelve coins appeared to contain the identical shortened inscription Sol, which had not before been reported. These four known coins, including my coin, were produced with two different reverse dies with the same shortened legend variant. As a result, it appeared to be not so exceedingly rare type. This is most likely a version of a legend that is very easy to overlook, which is why it was overlooked and was not recorded before by the scholars. I'm hoping that this unrecorded variety will be included in a future edition of RIC. Here's another, Commodus Denarius. Isn't this one a lot more appealing than the previous one? It was minted in 185 AD, which is six years earlier when tougher minting standards were in place. Very pleasing coin indeed, the obverse legend reads Marcus Commodus Augustus Pius Britannicus Felix. On the reverse, we have Felicitas with victory and a winged caduceus, as well as the titular dates of Commodus. The obverse legend of this coin is very intriguing since Britannicus comes before Felix. That's really unusual. The legend is typically written as Felix Britannicus across Commodus coinage of this period. The present legend variant was not recorded in combination with this reverse yet. There is, however, an aureus at the Mun's cabinet veen with the same unusual obverse legend, as well as the same titular dates and felicitas on the reverse. This isn't the first time a rare denarius has led to an aureus. Those who watch my vlogs may have noted that super rare denarii are sometimes accompanied with a contemporaneous aureus. I don't know why. I hope to come back to this topic once I have more information. Please feel free to contact me if you have any ideas about the relationship between exceedingly rare denarii and aurei. The last coin for today is an unusual Hadrian denarius with Virtus on the reverse. Look at how the obverse legend goes in the opposite direction. This is not as it should be with Hadrian's denarii. As a rule, legends go in a clockwise direction on Hadrian denarii. Paul Strack, a German numismatist, identified this type and noted it as Rome mint. Richard Abdi's most recent analysis, however, allocated this coin to Eastern mints, which is mirrored in the most recent edition of RIC on Hadrian. By the way, I'm only aware of one case of anti-clockwise legend in Hadrian's coinage. Please correct me if I'm mistaken, perhaps there are more varieties with retrograde legends in Hadrian's coinage. It would be fantastic to know. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like the video. Rare coins to you. Cheers. Please like the video and make sure to subscribe for more. Also, please follow the channel on social media.